Um, I got onto Athletes Authority through um, a past teammate who was training here um, and spoke very highly of the facilities. So um, I thought it was a no-brainer to kind of get my own individual program um, in the lead up to a W League season about two years ago. So. Thanks to Athletes Authority, um, they were my team during pretty much all of lockdown. Um, obviously it can be pretty isolating injuries so I'm incredibly grateful for the support I received from Athletes Authority in terms of like the facilities, the programs, honestly even sometimes just the mental support or support as coaches and friends. Um, they were honestly my rock and my, my team throughout the whole thing because I essentially didn't have one due to the timing of my injury. Um, and they honestly made me keep going. Some days I really didn't want to be here. So like throughout my career, like in football, I've had a few injuries, but nothing as major as this. Um, and I've never really had the chance to spend a solid amount of time as a pre-season um, to build up my strength and my plyometric work as, as much as I would like to, but obviously this was a perfect opportunity to use it as a 12-month pre-season. Unfortunately, with the way like women's football pre-seasons work, we don't really have enough time to really develop as athletes outside of our football kind of context so um, yeah I'd say I'm a much stronger and more athletic female athlete and um, I guess it's given me the confidence to kind of start getting back into training and um, work on different aspects of my game including my speed and everything like that. Um, obviously the testing was a huge thing for me to kind of um, tick boxes along the way and having um, all of that available to me at the facility here at Athletes Authority has been incredible just to kind of track my journey. Um, aside from that, you know, the, the facilities are incredible. Um, I love that, you know, we have rehab focused sessions and athlete development programs where physios can obviously watch you while you're doing your workouts while obviously injured and rehabbing um, and that's really important because obviously if you're going to a normal gym <laughs> you don't really have someone watching you and um, I guess I just always trusted the process here and the facility is incredible. Um, definitely could make more use of the recovery stuff and I think I will coming into kind of playing and training again. Yeah, so for me obviously it's all about getting back onto the field um, and now incredibly it's a matter of weeks and not months so that's kind of my first priority is to tick that box off but um, in terms of a, a little bit longer it's to get an A-League women's contract again and find my feet in the league again um, and then obviously hopefully the world's my oyster and I might have opportunities arise that align with my goals so um, fingers crossed.